What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel and for those of you who have been subscribed and wondering where have I been, uh, it's been years obviously since I posted a video, I think like a year or two ago. But uh, yeah man, we are back and long story short, had a lot of things that happened, had a son, had you know my life basically turned around, got a new home and we just put this thing together about two months ago. So I just want to do a tank update and obviously post a video for you guys, show you guys the new tank. And, um, you know, like I mentioned before in my most recent video, I wanted to start taking this channel serious and I never did due to the complications. But I'm in my new home. We're living good now and I'm ready to start getting into this game, fishing game, fish tank game more and putting more effort into it and making this channel grow, hopefully growing it. But anyways... Let's talk about what we got in here. We got my Fajaca Puffer, that's Big Worm. And then we have my red tail Catfish. He is a uh, beast and he's getting big. And his name is Debo. And then we have a Tiger Oscar. His name is Smokey. And then we have the albino female and her name is Felicia. So for those of you who are like, what the heck are these names and where did you come up with these names? They actually come from the movie Friday I'll post it right here for you guys. If you don't know what it is, it's a freaking hilarious movie from back in the day. Super funny. But I thought the names just fit the fish and their characters. Um, so those are the names. But anyways, long story short, guys, it's a 60-gallon tank. I obviously know that I'm not going to keep these fish in here forever. That these fish are going to require a bigger home. You know, I do have a 150-gallon fish aquarium that I plan on putting these fish in very, very soon. Like within the next month or two, that's gonna be my next project. So make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss out on that content coming your guys' way. City pick up trash and uh, she told me she had another one she couldn't put out. And she told me if I was able to get it out of her yard, I can keep it. So I went and picked it up and got both these tanks for, for free, man. So it was definitely a come up. But like I said, guys, it's just a basic setup. Um, couple rocks from the neighborhood and some artificial plants got the heater set to 78 degrees and then we have the 75 gallon double cartridge filter which isn't the best filter in the world but it's definitely getting the job done i test my waters about once a week and everything tests out great so do my water changes um everything's going well man and for those of you who do not know about the fajaca the fajaca puffer I think that's how you pronounce it, Fahaka Puffer. I'll post the uh, the scientific name right here on the screen. But they say that these fish are supposed to be by themselves, and you're not supposed. They don't. Have, they're not. They're not really tank mate material. So what I mean by that is like they don't do well with other fish. Um, I actually got him and this Tiger Oscar together as a pair off Craigslist. I had the red tail and the albino since they were babies. And I was a bit nervous. I did my research and I was scared because I was afraid that this Fajaca Puffer was going to kill my fish. And it was a huge risk that I took. And I'm very thankful to say that they're doing very well together now. Um, I'm not going to lie. Like when I first put him in here the first couple of weeks, you know, he took off his back tail pretty much. And her back tail and clipped his fins. But they're growing back and they look great. They're coming back. So... They haven't messed with each other since then. They haven't shown any signs of aggression towards one another. Um, occasionally when they're hungry, they start picking at each other. But I try to do my best in feeding them as much as I can. Um, I do feed them on a daily basis. I feed them twice a day. I feed them tilapia. Uh, usually just cut up pieces, throw them in there, and they go to town. We'll be doing videos on hand feeding him and seeing them eat. Uh, we also feed them small minnow fish and feeder fish i try to stay away from goldfish just because I know, I know goldfish carry diseases so i try to avoid that but occasionally i'll throw some in there um again it's more or less just trying to it's more or less just me wanting them to keep those wild instincts and them hunt their food um, i currently have him on snails and uh crawdads but he does eat the tilapia, which he loves it, and he does eat goldfish and other minnows. So they pretty much eat everything that I put in this tank. 
so yeah just a simple setup grow out tank i hope you guys enjoy the video there's going to be more videos coming we're going to obviously be putting them in the 150 gallon tank and setting up the 150 gallon tank and changing this tank completely and putting other fish in here i'm not too sure what kind of fish we're going to do and we're obviously going to get more fish guys so if you guys want to see more videos like i said just subscribe like the video let me know in the comments what you guys think about the fish anything that you guys think i can do differently um i mean it's all we're all family here so just want positive vibes positive thoughts and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day thanks for watching my video i'm out